Hello everybody and welcome to the channel. This is the Ribble Steam Railway and here is Bagnall 2680 of 1942, courageous. And here at the railway is the Autumn Steam Gala. The railway runs on the last remaining parts of the Preston Dock Railway System which is still connected to Preston Station as it still operates bitumen trains to the refinery. And visiting for the weekend is Hudswell Clark 754 Waleswood, which is looking absolutely beautiful. Waleswood now couples up to Courageous as they're about to double head with a trip up the line. I'm wondering whether the fireman can actually see what he's doing within all that steam. To save time at the other end, Hawthorne Leslie 3931 follows at the rear to save on running round. While the train runs up the line, we shall take a look in the museum. I highly recommend a good look round the museum. There's so many fabulous things to see. Just like this Greenwood Batley number 2000 of 1945. Here is Peckett number 1636 of 1924, Fon Mon. I do have a soft spot for these lovely Peckets. Next, we see this absolutely beautiful Hudswell Clark number 628. The Mighty Atom, built in 1943. Absolutely quirky looking and I love it. Here, another Peckett, number 2003, built in 1941. Oh, just look at it, it's beautiful. This one's clearly not run for a while though, it's got no fittings inside the cab. Next, Andrew Barclay, number 1598, Efficient, built in 1918. It looks like a time capsule from yesteryear with its dirty looking appearance. Beautiful. There's just so much to see. Like this Andrew Barclay number 1950 from 1928 Hesham number 2 which is a fireless loco. Next to that another Andrew Barclay, John Ho. Beautiful livery. And then next to that another quirky loco, a Sentinel number 8024 of 1929 called Gas Bag. 
Look at that, it is just fabulous. Now we have an Avonside number 1568 of 1909 called Lucy. Oh, now here's a good one, a BR Class O3 number D2148. Oh, beautiful in its BR green livery. One of my favourites this is. Sentinel number 9373, St. Mormons. Beautifully quirky. Andrew Barclay, number 1865, Alexander. Very striking locomotive. And next to that, an LNWR, Ramsbottom, number 1439. This one dates back to 1865. A very striking English electric EE788 of 1930. Look at that lining and that lettering. Absolutely beautiful. Turning to the action outside, Waleswood returns with the train that's been up the line. Throughout the day, the locomotives rotated round, so all the locomotives got a turn at each end of the train. Here we get to have a little look at the Hawthorne Leslie, which is named Linda. While at the other end, Courageous's fire is being loaded up with coal, before we go for a little tour of the workshops. Here in the workshops we see the long-term project, Wooten Hall, number 4979. This is a long-term and very large locomotive, especially for this line. It'll look striking going across the docks bridge. Another GWR locomotive is their 0625643, which is going under major overhaul. As you can see here, between the frames, the boiler has been removed, and it's now time to strip it down and go through and repair any issues with any of the bushes and anywhere. They're hoping to have this one done rather quickly. Here we see Peckett number 1925 Caliban of 1937 going under restoration. This is a locomotive from Preston itself. Next is Hunslet 3793 Shropshire. Yeah, tell me how much they are, Hawthorne Leslie Linda returns with another train. Courageous, 
following at the rear oh i do love this locomotive i think it's quite striking with its unusual shaped tank time for a locomotive swap courageous is swapped for waleswood before we take a ride on the train number 21 locomotives With Wales wood attached, Courageous pulls out of the way into the siding. Courageous has been given the once over to check everything's fine. Maybe they found a little issue that needs a little further investigation. While we take a very soggy trip up the line, as the heavens have decided to open.
哈。Here we see the train going across the famous Preston Docks Bridge. What a spectacular sight. Wood returns with the train again crossing the bridge as we are getting absolutely soaked with rain but hey ho what great fun
what a fantastic day we've had despite the weather and if you've enjoyed what you've seen and if you haven't already please do click the subscribe button and the notification bell and be notified when we next release a video and don't forget to give us a like and uh, stick a comment down below until next time laters